Hey hey everyone, Happy Dude here, and I've got another cool car from the 80s. Now the movie Mad Max came out in 79 in America, but in Europe it was in 82. Now this is one of my favorite movie cars, so that's why I bought it from AutoArt, because their quality is very high. Now this is actually my very first auto art car. Um, it's in scale 118 and made out of die cast, but I actually bought it first from Greenlight and that one is also in scale 118 and made out of die cast. But I wasn't that happy with the quality of the Greenlight version, so that's why I bought the auto art. Now let's compare the two. So first of all the dimensions. The auto art is exactly 27 centimeters long and the green light version is half a centimeter bigger. The height is the same. They are both seven and a half centimeters high and eight centimeters with the roof spoiler. And they are both 10 and a half centimeters wide. I can already feel that the weight is also gonna be different. So the green light is 878 gram or 31 ounce. And the auto art. 929 gram or 32.8 ounce all right let's do a roll test first up the green light it does make a bit of a noise it's pretty smooth but it has the intensity to stop on its own and now the auto art Oh wow, this one is a lot smoother, it does run more freely and it's more quiet. And both cars can move the front wheels left and right. But on the green light version the steering wheel doesn't move as much and on the auto art version you can clearly see that the steering wheel moves a lot more now both cars have spring action in the front and in the rear but as you can see the green light version has a lot more spring action to it uh, but the auto art has a more quality feel to it here you can clearly see the difference in the quality of the springs this is the green light and this is the auto art oh let's watch that in slow motion this is the green light. And now the auto art version. And now side by side. Okay, that's clearly a win for the auto art. Also, the tires feel a lot softer on the auto art. On the green light, they are very hard. Now, the reason the green light version has more spring action is because, well, it's higher on its wheels, as you can see. While the auto art is a lot lower. Now it's actually uh, supposed to be like this because it's the tuned version from the first movie. Um, so they lowered it so it could handle a lot better on the road. 
to catch criminals. And this is actually the right height uh, of the second interceptor from the movie Road Warrior. And the reason why the interceptor in the second movie is higher from the ground is because it's got beefed up suspension so it can go more easily off road. And from this view you can clearly see the difference. So that's the reason I'm going to convert this one completely. I'm going to cut this out, put fuel tanks in it. Um, I'm going to repaint it and I'm also going to remove the front of the car. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure that you subscribe. Here's the bottom of the green light. And here's the bottom of the auto art. As you can see, this has a lot more detail. Now, the one thing you can already see what's wrong with the auto art is this logo right here. That's missing from the auto art version. And also this MFP number plate. But we're going to fix that later in the video. All right, let's do the front of the cars. So there is some color difference in the lights, as you can see. This one is the auto art and that one looks a lot more realistic. Um, the front bumper is lower on the green light. On the auto art it's higher and it's actually uh, open like it's supposed to be. And the green light is closed off here. And yeah, the lights, the fog lights are bigger and this one is crooked. The auto art is way better as you can see. Okay, let's go a little bit closer to see more detail. The supercharger has some gold uh, on it and on the auto art it's just normal silver so i think this one is correct and the green light is wrong and also look at this it's just closed off and here it's actually got real grills inside them man the detail on that auto art there's also some color difference in the superchargers themselves. Uh, on the auto art, it's more uh, silver colored, and on the auto art, it looks more like real uh, metal. Uh, I think it is metal. I don't know. It feels so soft. Can you hear that? This one feels rough and this one doesn't make a sound at all because it's so soft. Here's a side view. Even the window wipers are different. This is the green light and this is the auto art. Look at that detail. That's amazing. And here's the rear end of the cars. And you can straight away see a big difference in the rear window. The auto art has those electric wires to heat the rear window when it's cold outside. Not that it's needed in Australia, I believe. And the green light doesn't have that. Uh, also, the Spoiler is different. The rear spoiler is bigger on the green light. I don't know which one is 
um, movie accurate, but I suppose it's the auto art. Um, we also have a keyhole here. Green light doesn't have that. And the uh, lights on the auto art look very detailed. On the green light. Mm, well, it's about the same. Yeah, just the orange is a lot more clearer on the auto art. Uh, that's the difference. Also, the rear bumper uh, sticks a bit more out on the green light. See, that's a completely different design uh, on the auto art. Now, the roof spoilers appear to be the same, but look at the difference in the quality of the paint. This is the green light. And this is the auto art. Just look at it. It's almost liquid oil. It's that perfect. And the green light has a lot of uh, scratches and marks. Look at that. It's actually damaged from the factory because I never took it out of the box and it was brand new. Same with the auto art. Also the uh, windshields are different in quality. And the tailpipes are also a lot more detailed on the auto art. So, as you can see, there's a lot of difference between the two, but the price is also very different. The green light is 80 euros, while this is 200. Also, you cannot open up the hood or the trunk on the green light, while on the auto art you can. And look at the detail. That's just insane. It even has springs on the hood. Man, that's just amazing. And now the trunk. And this is the inside of the trunk and it has real carpet inside. It looks and feels real. And this is the interior of the auto art. We also have some carpet on the floor. And yes, also in the rear. Uh, the seats are made of hard plastic and you cannot move them. And here's the other side. It also has dials. And the uh, switch to activate the supercharger. And a CB on the ceiling. And this is the inside of the green light. We don't have any carpet on the floor, uh, but the seats do feel very realistic. This is actually a lot better than on the auto art. So I actually want to change the seats. Oh no, and look at that. The wire from the CB is also broken. <sighs> and here's a better view inside. We also have some dials. 
Oh, and look, the mirror, uh, the mirror glass is missing. Ah, oh, another thing that's broken. Also, the inside of the doors are very different, as you can see. We have a lot more detail on the auto art. So, I think it's pretty clear which one is the winner. But which one would you choose? Or which one do you already have? And, oh, look at that. I found the mirror of the green light. Hehe. <laughs>